I'm Angela Yee, and this is Credit Chronicles, a digital series designed to help you deal with financial challenges like student loans and credit card debt. We partnered with the Self app because whether you have credit issues, debt, or you're not saving money, the Self app can help. And I'm Stacy Tisdale. For eight weeks, we followed Tina and Marcus, a young married couple, as they learned how to get out of debt and build their finances. They were guided by financial wellness coach Stacy Pierce. But for couples dealing with financial stress, one of the biggest challenges is how to communicate with your partner about money. I sat down with Tina and Marcus to see whether they could use a little help. Sometimes it's hard when you take an honest look at your numbers. Like most people don't even like to open their bills, especially when they know that their finances aren't in order. What was that like? It's tough at some points because, you know, I, I know parts of the reason why the situation is the way it is because I didn't answer the phone when, you know, the bill collectors are calling. So one of the issues was really just not facing it. Yes. Tell me about that. For you, Tina, how did that just not facing it make you feel? Sometimes frustrated. Can I be honest? I'm going to be very honest. It is sometimes frustrated because, you know, you, when we talk about it, sometimes it's hard to kind of him not facing it or, you know, not answering the phone and stuff like that. Being in denial was not helping anything, actually, was making it worse. Money is a leading cause of divorce. Mm -hmm. It's a leading cause of trouble in marriages, financial anxiety affects decision making. How do you feel about the way you two communicate about money? For me, I'm, I've always been open with him when it comes to money. I ask him questions, I tell him what's going on, so we communicate very well. Sometimes, I'm not going to lie and say it's not a little bit stressful, but we talk about money. At least for me, I always approach him when it comes to what I'm spending and things like that. So there's so much going on when people talk about money than just dollars and cents. For starters, men and women process money completely differently. Since the beginning of time, men have been conditioned, it's their job to provide and protect. Whenever an issue about money comes up, for men it's seen as a complaint, whereas a woman might hear a financial challenge as an opportunity to move closer. So what are some of the ways that you think you can improve your communication about money? You know, like my wife says, she communicates with me about everything, every little thing that, every move she's making, everything she's spending, she always calls me no matter what I'm doing to let me know, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm getting this. And for me, sometimes it's like, why are you even telling me that? You know, I, I get it, but it's important to her that, that, you know, I take it seriously. Not that I wasn't, but that I, you know, I'm hearing her and that when she does tell me them that I'm like, okay, you know, I am providing, but I'm also, you know, hearing what you're saying. So when women approach men about money, mm -hmm. they need to be mindful of the fact that for him it's going to feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough. It's just going to feel like pressure. Is that your experience? Sometimes. In what way? Yeah, I feel like maybe I just don't have enough money or, you know, I, I'm working, but dang, I feel like I just gave you something. I, you know, you need something again and I, I feel bad if I, if I don't have it to give it at the time. Now let me get to bed my girl Tina. Mm -hmm. When a financial issue comes up, just like she's doing, mm -hmm. women are like, okay, this is a challenge, so we can move closer and talking about it and talking about it will bring us closer together. Is that what you feel when you want to, because why, why is it so important to you to be so open with him? I want him to know that, you know, I understand he's working and he's taking care of us. This is what I'm doing with the money. I'm using it towards either doing grocery, taking care of our son, taking care of the house. I kind of just want to keep him in the loop. So that's why when I call him, it's me trying to keep him up to date on how the money that I know he's working hard to take care of us is spending. I know you're going to make a list of here's the things that we have to do. One of the best ways to make sure that that happens is to have somebody hold you accountable. So when you make a list, you know, I'm going to call this person, I'm going to do that. Obviously, you're going to come up with it together and share it with Tina, but I, you're going to be his money buddy. Okay. So you're going to say, okay, we're going to call this person by Thursday, and you're going to make sure that he did You're going to ask him if he did it on mm -hmm. Thursday. And if anything ever comes up where you are supposed to do something and you're unable to do it because work happened or something else happened, you're going to have to say, I can't do this Thursday, I'm going to do it Monday. That one step 
having that accountability, it sounds so simple, but when we're talking about financial behaviors, that one step makes the difference. One of the, also the most important things that couples need to remember is to keep their money promises. Yes. If someone said it's their month to pay the cable bill, it is their month to pay the cable bill. You have to keep your money promises to each other. Couples okay. commit financial infidelity, and they don't realize that it, you know, infidelity is infidelity. It breaks trust, and when people break their money promises, it also breaks trust. So shake hands and say, I'll keep your money promises. I'll keep, I keep my, my money, money promises. Keep in mind, debt is a primary cause of financial stress in relationships. That's where our partners at SELF can be helpful. Download the app for help in building credit and to develop good financial habits. Thank you so much for watching Credit Chronicles. You'll find a new episode every week here on the Breakfast Club YouTube channel. And to learn how you can enter a contest to win $5,000 yes. towards your financial goals, go to power1051fm.com forward slash SELF.